Hey guys, I'm just going to be 110% raw with y'all right now. I was laying in bed, so comfortable, <laughs> contemplating when I was going to turn the TV on, you know, after a long day. And I was like, oh man, I ain't going to record a daily video today. I, no big deal. I, I'll see y'all on Monday. And I was, I was just contemplating when I was going to turn on YouTube or The Good Place, which I've been rewatching. So question number one, uh, and I have this written down, What what is one of your comfort TV shows? Like a show that you can just throw on and, and get comfort out of no matter what episode it is. I'm actually in the middle of rewatching or in the middle. I'm very early on rewatching The Good Place. Like I'm still in season one. And I haven't literally re I've never watched any rewatched any of the episodes since it went off the air. So I'm currently watching that. I'd have to say mine is Scrubs. Big surprise if you know anything about me. Scrubs is my favorite TV, my favorite sitcom, and it's like this my second favorite television show, third favorite television show of all time behind The Wire and Breaking Bad. So yeah, what, what, what's your favorite comfort TV show? But that's not what inspired me to come down here to ask y'all about some dumb TV show. So scrolling social media is just, you know, turning my brain off, so to speak. And I ran across this post by a good friend of mine. And she said something about her little boy saying that black wasn't beautiful. Now, now he is a, a, a black little boy, to be fair. And they were trying to give him positive affirmations about how beautiful he was and everything like that. And I came down here just to say to y'all, no matter what you've gone through, what someone else has done to you, no matter what trauma or that constant voice in your head that might be saying you're not good enough, it's not true, okay? To quote Christina Aguilera, man, you are beautiful in every single way, in your own way. Black is beautiful, 100%, obviously. I'm a little biased, but seriously, aside from that, because we don't want anybody to feel like black isn't beautiful, especially kids, man. Like, if Aaliyah said that, my heart would break too. So I, my, I completely can relate to that. But if you can hear the sound of my voice and you need to hear it, you're beautiful, okay? And if, and if you need, if you feel like things aren't going that great and you, and you feel lost and everything like that, please do yourself a favor and reach out to someone and let them know you're feeling that way. And this is, goes beyond not feeling beautiful. It can be any kind of stress you got going on in your life. <sighs> Again, any kind of previous traumas that's just weighing on you and you feel like you're not good enough or you're just things are getting dark please feel free to reach out to someone and I can sit here and preach about helplines all I want but honestly there are people out here who love you and want you to be here for as long as possible so whether that starts with the thought that you're not beautiful whether you're a child or an adult know that you are beautiful someone out there thinks you're beautiful and regardless I think you're valuable and there's other people out there who think you're valuable. So, hopefully, the affirmations that his parents are reassuring him with are going to stick. And he's going to know that he's beautiful, whether he's black, brown, Puerto Rican, or Haitian. Sorry. And hopefully he takes that and applies it to his life from here on out. I mean, he's a kid, so he'll probably need reminders. But you're beautiful. He's beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful things going on in this trash can of a world. And that's what I wanted to say. So, I'm going to go upstairs. Give me a little nightcap. A little nightcap. And uh, I need to take a shower. <laughs> I got to work in the morning. So, last day until Monday, though. Yeah that's it i don't know maybe maybe i'll do something saturday and sunday I, uh, otherwise i'm gonna try to see y'all on monday and the video for hyphenation 200 is up I uploaded it earlier today and please leave in the comments 
anything, man. If you if you want to li- say something about how you're feeling, please do that. If you want to talk about some comfort TV stuff, please do that. Like the videos, share the videos, subscribe to the channel, hyphen universe, and hit that bell and you'll never miss an upload. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. You are loved, whether it's by me or by somebody else out there. And there are people that want you to be here if you feel like you don't want to be here anymore. That's it. It's probably my longest daily video so far, but sometimes you just got to say things. So thank you to my friend and her son for inspiring me to come down here and do this. And to the rest of y'all, thanks y'all. Is that fancy?